What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tyler trying to make YouTube videos. Cheers. Is this easy? How we end up. I just <laughs> guys and that so a couple of videos ago, I made Laura and Aaron the Taco Bell chicken quesadilla and they loved it. Have I cooked it again? No, but maybe I should. That chicken quesadilla tasted just like the chicken quesadilla from Taco Bell, promise. It was so good, the sauce was delicious. A lot of you guys were requesting that I make more fast food, like the copycat recipes and one of you guys actually sent me the copycat recipe for the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. So for today's video, we're gonna recreate the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. As well as making it fried chicken, I'm gonna be using this, an air fryer. This recipe actually calls for an air fryer. I decided to buy an air fryer. Seemed like if we're gonna cook some stuff that's semi unhealthy, an air fryer at least seems like at least it uses less oil. I've never even used an air fryer before, so I'm kind of excited to use it. This is Lauren Aaron's favorite fast food place and probably my favorite fast food place too. There's a lot of fast food eating going on in this household. So if I can perfect a fast food dish, they will love me forever. I don't have anything else I wanna talk about. We're gonna jump into making this cause it's, the time doesn't work on this. It's like almost eight o'clock and I'm just now cooking. So everybody's actually gonna be super hungry by the time I finish. I'm sorry, let's go. These ingredients are actually pretty simple for this. We have two chicken breasts, half cup of dill pickle juice, two eggs, half cup of milk, one cup of all purpose flour, two tablespoons powdered sugar, two tablespoons of potato starch, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon sea salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of ground celery, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, four hamburger buns, eight dill pickle chips, and I'm gonna throw in this cayenne pepper. It calls for a quarter teaspoon if you want to make it the spicy Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. So it's looking like this one is a pretty simple and straightforward instructions. I'm hoping that all my videos that involve cooking are going to be like this. I'm really starting to enjoy cooking now, even though I am doing fast food type items. It calls for two chicken breasts and it calls to pound them. I had to go and buy a pounder. Trust the old meat beater here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. For all chicken. Always smells disgusting. I always get the chicken tenders because they're so much smaller and easier to cook than these. I'm not very experienced with the actual chicken breast. I mean, do you just hit it? How does this work? I'm gonna open up the bag because I feel like if I start smacking it, it's gonna cause an explosion. Whoa. Oh, what? It's... Oh, sh I used the part that has pointies on it. Oh sh I gotta get another bag. I have chicken juice everywhere. This is not good already. Okay, so apparently this is the last bag that we have of this size. So chicken juice is gonna go flying. It says pound it to an inch, a half inch of thickness. This is kind of satisfying. What? Yeah, I'm gonna close this. Can you overbeat your chicken? All right, I'm not gonna lie to you. That was kind of fun. Oh yeah. Now that I got raw chicken all over my hands, I feel great, I'm ready. It says to cut it into like pieces that you want it to be, like the size of like a hamburger bun, I guess. If Laura knew I was putting raw chicken on this cutting board, she would probably murder me. Yeah, Mr. Chicken. All the chicken from me pounding it is just mush. I'm gonna make three pieces of chicken. So I'm gonna cut it this piece into a half and then I already have a piece here. Pretty easy so far. Oh, I'm getting chicken all over me. Guys, I'm gonna get sick. Chicken's in the bag. Next it calls for pickle juice. Did you guys have any idea that they marinate? So they, it's not marinating, it's brining. They brine their chicken at Chick-fil-A in pickle juice. I had no idea they do that, but that just sounds so delicious. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got raw chicken in places I never thought I would have it. This goes into the fridge like this for 30 minutes. All right, peeps, we are combining the rest of our ingredients now. So it calls for the eggs. I know you guys like my juggling tricks from the last video. <laughs> so we're combining our eggs, 
in with our milk. Oh my God. Apparently I don't know how to cook. I'm getting eggshells all up in this. Fun! Half a cup of milk. Yup. Yep. This reminds me of making breakfast. Maybe for my next video, I can do breakfast food because breakfast food is my all time favorite. So now we're gonna mix together all the spices and the starch and flour. I've never even heard of potato starch, but God, I had to go to two different stores to even find this stuff. I've actually never fried anything before. So this is gonna be, there's a lot of firsts going on in this video. So the strangest part about all of this is the fact that they use powdered sugar in their frying like mix. What? Powdered sugar? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That sounds good. Sounds like the chicken's gonna be sweet. Now salt to kill a horse. Here's this paprika again. We used this in the Taco Bell video and I guess they use it for a lot of stuff. Didn't even know that. You guys ever feel like you need a third hand? I think it needs a little bit more. You gotta have to go with the guesstimation on this. A little bit of garlic powder here. Oh my God, garlic powder smells so good. Never used celery seed before. It doesn't really, doesn't really have much of a smell. And that's it for the mixing guys. The mix it, well, I actually have to mix it, hang on. This is a pretty simple dish to make at home guys. So whenever you're following along with my tutorial here. Woo! I'm getting pretty pumped for some fried chicken people. I now, see, I was wondering why chefs wear white and it's because they deal with so much powder. I'm definitely gonna have to get a chef's outfit uniform. It's gonna happen, something. At least like an apron would look good on me, right? Chef's hat, a whole nine. So the chicken's been in for, <laughs> the powder. Um, okay, so the chicken's been in for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out and we're gonna batter it up and we're gonna fry this. Like I said, I've never used this air fryer. So I'm gonna go read about it while I have this paused. Our chicken is nice and briny and the pickle juice. And I already smell it. I don't know why I just took a big whiff of raw chicken. That was kind of gross. Now we coat the chicken for the frying process. We got three pieces here. One's gonna be for Aaron, one's gonna be for Laura, and one's gonna be for me. The piece that I do for me, I'm gonna put a little bit of cayenne on it to see if I can make mine spicy because I love spicy food. We'll make this a Laura or Aaron piece. Theirs will be the same. Oh Lord. These silicone tongs are a terrible idea. What do you use silicone tongs for? Because they don't hold slippery pieces of chicken, I'll tell you that much. My chicken is gonna be an odd shape. I think I'm gonna just stab it with a fork. These tongs are just not working out. There we are, much better. Dust off the excess, it says though, because that's important for some reason. Why is that, th this is gonna be a, a chicken sandwich somehow, guys. Ugh, oh, this is, this is not good, this is not good. I, I, I swear I thought I made them like round. Okay, this one's better, this one's better. I didn't do that bad. This is a messy job, frying chicken. Come on, chicken. Yeah, buddy. This is looking good. Um, I'm just gonna, I have no idea how much cayenne to put on this. I'm just gonna play this by ear. I'm gonna set it like this and I'm gonna give it a little sprinkle. A little sprinkle. I read on a separate website that you should put a little bit of oil on it so that it fries up nicely. They were kind of putting it on it with a spray bottle, but I don't have a spray thing. So I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit of olive oil around it and hope that I'm not pulling off too, many, too much of the breading. Seems like it'll work, right? Don't doubt me, I got this. We're ready to fry some freaking chicken here, people. Let's go over to the air fryer. Meet me over there. It didn't really seem like there was too much to the fryer here. It did tell me to like coat the grates with olive oil, so I did that. It says 340 degrees for six minutes. This air fryer is actually pretty simple. The temperature's right here, and then you have a timer. Once you turn the timer on, it turns on. So we're gonna go 340. The chicken is in. If this air fryer works out, this is gonna be so convenient. Seems pretty simple. It says six minutes and then you flip it. Shit. 
Oh my God. We got it on six minutes and then we flip it after another six minutes and then we do two minutes at 400 to really fry and really set it in. I want you guys to get a good look at this. It's just coils and then do you see the fan rotating? So it's wrapped in coils, fan rotates and circulates the air around. This seems like such an easy thing. Oh shit, you know what? I was supposed to add more oil. No, it's okay. We're gonna get a little less oil. We'll be healthier, we'll be healthier. Chick-fil-A style. Love it so far though. Woo! I'm excited for this chicken, people. I'm really afraid that this is not gonna cook the chicken all the way, and that terrifies me. The chicken has been in there for about six minutes now, and it doesn't really look any different. Have you guys ever used an air fryer before? Because it literally, it looks like Easy Bake Oven that is just like bigger than an Easy Bake Oven. I know Easy Bake Oven uses a, a light bulb, but this is just like a whole ring of coils and then a fan that blows it down. Same premise, right? All right, our timer has went off. Okay, they look a little crispy. Guys, I have hope for this chicken after all because this is like chicken crisp on here. So they're getting crispy. I'm loving this, I'm loving it. Y'all gonna see me leaving a A plus review on Amazon. I don't think I've ever left an Amazon review. And I used to work at Amazon. Okay guys, you're looking at the final product here. It looks a little powdery. I think I, it, look at that. <laughs> I think I was supposed to not bread it. It said something about like making sure that the breading is not too much. You're supposed to flick it off. And I thought I did that, but it's still looking a little powdery. It's not the darkness of Chick-fil-A. Like their chicken looks a little darker. This looks more like when you fry fish. Like this is the color that it gives you. So I don't know. We're going to do a taste test. We're going to do a taste test right now. Oh my goodness. We're done guys. Here's the final product. So I got a big honk of chicken and it actually came out does that look like Chick-fil-A chicken to you guys? No. It does not look like Chick-fil-A chicken to me <laughs> either. Um, but it's like, like I was saying, it's a lighter color. Chick-fil-A chicken is darker. I put cayenne on mine. Mine's supposed to be the spicy chicken. This is yours, Laura, a little petite one. And then Aaron's looks like a chicken tender. How do we know that this chicken's cooked all the way? That's something that we just are gonna have to figure out when we buy into it. I need to it. cut mine in half. <laughs> no, you don't. It's done. I promise you, it's Why? done. I don't know. I wouldn't feed you raw chicken. You know I had it in that oven thing, the air fryer, for at least 30 minutes. You know how freaked out I get about food. I stuck it in there longer than it said it needed to be in there. I naturally would. I'll okay, cut are we ready yours to in half taste too. it? I, I'm good. Are we ready to taste it? Okay, Aaron's okay. going in. All you bit was the pickle. <laughs> Did you get chicken? It's looking a little bready on mine. What? <laughs> Why are you shaking your head no? It's a good chicken sandwich. It is a good chicken sandwich. It's not Chick-fil-A. It's definitely not Chick-fil-A. Lies. I see you putting it down pretty quick. <laughs> not the uh, best meal that it I made. It doesn't mean we're not proud of you. You know, we are proud. It's different. It's not the same. Hmm. I'm kind of disappointed. But we'll have to go to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we have to go to Chick-fil-A now. I'm disappointed in this recipe. I'm not disappointed in the air fryer though. That thing was cool. We're making fried little... pickles soon. Oh, we're gonna make fried pickles in that. Our little easy bake oven. I just wanna apologize for my appearance. Hey. I keep looking at it in the viewfinder. Honestly, I've just been like going to Target today, cleaning. A little TV and like that it's like a chill Sunday so this is what I look like and then I just popped in the end of your video and I keep looking at myself like damn damn son damn son okay uh, you know what I just noticed what You're I'm in curly. between you two look, You're in the middle two black shirts both dark hair mm -hmm. red shirt Blonde. What does that even mean? I don't know. Alright guys, that's it for this week's yes. video. Let me know if you guys like these cooking videos and I can keep making these. I told them I'm gonna get like a chef's hat and like a chef's coat <laughs> and like the whole nine yards. I'm He's decking so it out. so extra. I won't be okay. making Chick-fil-A uh, sandwiches again. These were a flop. It's just a flop. I'm gonna say I'll what it is. I don't, I'm pretty sure it was me. Erin, she's dropped so much chicken on the floor. Help me. <laughs> How about you go? She's like, mm, it's so good. She's spitting it all out on the ground. <laughs> Ew, like, help me. It might not have been the recipe. It, yeah. it was probably me. 
making really? the sandwich. Yeah. You think that that's what messed it up? Yeah. You sure? You're saying that like sarcastically. No, something. not I'm not being sarcastic. I'm saying like I think it could have been the recipe that was a gimmick. Mm, I don't know. All right, guys, that's it for this week's video. See you next week. Peace. Chicken.